Section 2 of the Petition for Injunction for Protection Against Repeat Violence begins at the bottom of page 1 and ends at the top of page 2 of the form. Subsection 1 of Section 2, you will put the address for the respondent. The respondent is the person that you wish to be protected from. Please put the address, city, state, and zip code for the respondent's address, if known. You can also provide the respondent's driver's license number, if known, in this same subsection to assist law enforcement in locating and identifying the respondent. In subsection 2 of section 2, you will put how long the petitioner has known the respondent. If you are filing on behalf of a minor child, you will put the date that the minor child has first met the respondent. In subsection three of, sub, of section two, you will put the respondent's last known place of employment, which would be the business name, as well as the address for their employment, which would be the address of the business, and the estimated working hours that the respondent is working for that business. In subsection four of section two, you will put the physical description of the respondent. The more details that you can put into this description, the better and easier it will be for law enforcement to locate and identify the respondent. In subsection 5 of section 2, you will list any other names that the respondent goes by, including aliases or, or nicknames. And in subsection 6 of section 2, you will put the respondent's attorney's name, address, and telephone number if you know and any of that information. If you do not know whether the respondent has an attorney, write unknown. If you do know that the respondent does not have an attorney, Write none in this section. 